So since Sonic the Hedgehog is essentially allergic to water, in today's video, if I touch water in every Sonic game, the video ends. So starting the video, we have Sonic 1. And I kind of forgot to say this in the intro of the video, but I'm only going to be doing mainline Sonic games, so only like the main Sonic games are going to be included in this video. Now, there was a lot of controversial opinions in the last video saying that this waterfall in Sonic 1 did not actually count as touching water. Therefore, I'm just going to keep going just from that statement right there. It's a very difficult situation because you're essentially touching it, but... <clears throat> I'm not even gonna lie y'all, I took me three game overs to get just to get to this boss man. <laughs> I suck at this game. God, I didn't realize how bad I actually was at Sonic 1 until I actually played it for longer than five- <clears throat> Touching fire, wow. Is that next video? Maybe. Little update, I'm on my eighth, eighth game over at the moment, so this is, this is our- <laughs> I spent a god awful time just getting to Labyrinth Zone, but eh, we did it! Don't touch it! Next is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now, this game right here was another controversial game that you guys were like, well, you didn't really touch the water right there when. Honestly, I feel like in Sonic 2, I looked back at it and it's like. I think I genuinely touched it right there. Like, ho hold on, bro. You're telling me the fish go. Okay, I didn't mean to touch it, but you're telling me the fish that are coming right there that you're not touching. This is touching water, right? I don't care. Don't touch it. All right, hold on. Let me not forget the actual purpose of the video, which is don't touch water. Now, Sonic CD is a... Oh, I, I forgot to change the... Okay. So for Sonic CD, you have to change the refresh rate of your monitor if you have over 60 hertz, and I forgot to do that, so we're, we're just not going to discuss how the game is twice as fast now. Now, if you look below me, there's some water that I'm strategically avoiding because this map was designed so very good. Oh my god. Sonic CD, after like... Now, this is my actual first time playing Sonic CD, like, doing these videos, but Sonic CD is a very good game. Oh, look, it's Metal Sonic strangling my girlfriend. Thank you. I'm starting to believe that there's no water. Don't touch it. Next is Sonic 3. All right, so for Sonic 3, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. As you guys saw in Sonic CD, I just didn't know that stage actually had it. That was my first time playing Sonic CD, so don't blame me for not knowing. But after playing Sonic CD, I feel like I should give it a try, just play it out my downtime sometime. And just experience Sonic CD because a lot of you actually like ooh some water. Oh! Don't touch it. Next is Sonic Adventure, which is it, it's not gonna last long. Yeah, this game right here is literally you just might as well call this Sonic Water Adventures. So like, <laughs> don't touch it. Next is Sonic Adventure 2, which is going to be interesting because I don't remember that many instances where you have to touch water. So we're we're in City Escape. You guys know how I feel about City Escape and Sonic the Hedgehog in this game. Oh my God, Sonic is a murderer. There's people in those cars. <laughs> Yeah, I was starting to think Eggman was, um, a little less evil in this game. So far, the only stages that we've had a real danger in is Metal Harbor, and even so, like, this is an easy stage. The only way I die here is if I fall off the water. Like, it's, it's not gonna happen. After quite literally the easiest Shadow the Hedgehog boss fight, we get Green Forest, which is another danger stage, and I haven't played this stage in a while, so... If I die here, it, uh, I, 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 oh, honestly, I, I didn't know what to say right there, so I just started mumbling. Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, I know there's like a Knuckles level, actually, that you have to touch water, if I'm not mistaken. Like, you have to drain the water. I remember that level from when I was a kid, when I played this game. I think, I think we have to touch water in that level. I'm not entirely sure, but we're gonna find out once I actually get to that level. Like, obviously, the goal is to beat the Sonic game. No! Don't touch it! Next is Sonic Heroes. So the first two levels of Sonic Heroes are like set in water like type play as you guys can see we're, we're surrounded by water, right? So Obviously, I don't know how this is gonna go. Honestly, I think I, I'm not mistaken. You actually touch water in the first level I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh oh, are we gonna land on the water right here? I think we oh no we that is no that is definitely what yeah No, you can see it flowing. That's definitely water. God don't touch it. Shadow the Hedgehog is an interesting game because there's I have no idea. You guys said there's like 20 endings, I don't, 300 different ways to play. I don't know, man. I'm just going to do the neutral. <laughs> I'm just going to do the neutral story. I don't care. Like I said, the neutral story is just the way to go for me because like <laughs> completing the objectives are so dumb. I spend, I, I did it one time in my life and that's back when I got this game for the first time. I've never tried it again because it is so, it was so obscenely hard that it was like, it was harder to me, this complete Sonic level, or not Sonic levels, but like the hero story modes, then complete Eggman Land. That is what I thought in my head, and I still do to this day. And like I said, I didn't even get to the Super Shadow like ending boss battle in this game. That is like that is the one regret I have with this game. I really want to do that ending, but I just didn't have the time, or I didn't have the time, but I didn't want to put in the effort of getting that ending because it was just so hard. 
Okay, I, I gotta ask, is this, is that water? That green, green, green? Oh, 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 okay. Th thank you, Char. <laughs> so should I count this as touching water? I don't know, cause like, I'm on a hoverboard, right? But I'm still, am I touching it? I don't know, no. Okay, so if, I, I'm, I'm gonna count it if I fall off, but <laughs> other than that, I don't think I should count this. Bro, the one thing I always disliked about this game and like, not earlier Sonic games, but like, so I think Sonic Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic Heroes had the same like, slipper. <laughs> don't touch it. Next is Sonic the Hedgehog, which it's not gonna last long. Look, I know you could probably like break this game into oblivion in order to- Don't touch it. Sonic and the Secret Rings is very interesting because I have never actually like completed this game fully. I literally only completed the first level because that was my first time actually playing. Uh, the only reason I play this game is for these challenges right here. So the only water that I'm aware of in this game is Sand Oasis because that's all I played. All right, we completed Sand Oasis. That was honestly pretty easy. All I had to do was not die. Uh, why is there- I always- Why is there Triceratops here? What is the- <laughs> Bro, why are, they, why are they faster than Sonic? Go, wait! It took me a while to figure out how to actually outrun the- Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, do we fall in the wa- Wait. Do we count this as touching water? Technically- uh, Does this count? Because the water is kind of spl- Is this- Wait. Is the water spl- I don't think the water's splashing at me. At least that's Sonic. You can see it in the back, but oh, oh no. Uh, yeah, no. Okay, the water splashed at me right there. I I'm gonna count that. I got the ah. Don't touch it. And now we're in the beautiful, gorgeous Sonic Unleashed. And I assume that we're going to be here for a while because I don't think there's any water touching, at least in the first couple levels, unless you die. I mean, I, I don't know. Anyway, looking back at all these Sonic games, Sonic touches a lot of water. And he dies like half the time, but like he touches a lot of water for someone who's like not really a biggest, the biggest fan of water. You know, he touches it a lot. Like, the only water that we can touch over here is literally this puddle. Like, why is this here? <laughs> okay, that's me seriously asking, what is that? Is that like a, like a man-made kind of thing? I, I, a pond? Well, I don't know. You know, touching water is really just like a block. Like, you can't avoid it, but like, you can't. Does that make sense? I don't know. For touching grass, touching grass, did my game just freeze? Oh, hold on. Yeah, see, like, right here, you can't avoid touching the water here. Like, God damn. Don't touch it. Up next is Sonic in the Black Knight, which is probably gonna be the same thing as last time. So when we did the touching water challenge last time, I literally couldn't touch any of this, and I had to go all the way until we got to a part where it literally rained. And here is said rain. Don't touch it. See now, Sonic Colors is a very interesting one because you can actually pick where you go next. After you unlock like the first like I think two or three worlds, that's when you can actually pick where you go. So obviously if you've seen the touch water challenge, we actually didn't get any- Okay, why the hell did that- <laughs> What the- What is the quick step button in this? Am I tri- What is the quick step- Oh, it's the- It's the joystick. Anywho, if you have seen the how fast can you touch water in every Sonic game video, which you should definitely go check that out. In Sonic Colors, we actually had to go to Aquarium Park, but we had other stages unlocked, so... We're gonna pick another stage and see how long we can actually last, because I feel like Sonic Colors is THE game. Now, I, I, I've been thinking about this for a while now. I've been thinking about this comment that I saw- that I saw, um, <clears throat> and it was like, well, technically, you're always touching water since you're made up of 70% water, and I thought that was so, I don't know, that just made me laugh. I just thought about it while I'm playing, but in Sweet Mountain, there's no water as well, as you guys know. So, so far, we completed two worlds, is that what they're, I don't even know, zones, I'm gonna call them zones, I don't know, but we've completed two, dude, the background of this looks gorgeous, what the hell, this was on the Wii, good look. Damn! So as expected, in sp how does Sonic breathe in sp- Am I tr- is this a pl- I don't- <sighs> Sonic can breathe in- okay, whatever. We're not gonna- <laughs> Now I'm not entirely sure which world I should have picked. I think this is the one that has the least amount of water because Planet Wisps, I feel like that's too planety. I feel like there's grass there, beautiful water, there's everything there. So I feel like Asteroid Coaster is our safe route because as you guys see at the background, this is an asteroid and we got lava everywhere. And I know there's gonna be a comment asking or saying that how I went from like three to five lives to like 83. Just know I, I just changed files. That's it. <laughs> Looks like we're stuck over here. Um, I literally can't go up here. I tried the booster over here. Let's try that again. Go. Yeah. No, <laughs> what? Who designed this? Who designed it? I need to stay off Sonic Twitter because it seems like every time I just like go on it, then be. <laughs> Thank God. Don't touch it. 
You know, the one good thing about this game is that the water is actually in the first level. Yep, goodbye. Don't touch it. Sonic Lost World is a game I literally played just because I started doing these challenges. So Sonic Lost World is actually a very interesting game and I feel like there's a lot of space where you can actually avoid the water. Like, as you guys see, there's a waterfall right there, but I can easily avoid it because the platform is, how do I call it? Galax, Super Mario Galax, I don't know. It's just three dimension. I, what, do, what do you call this? The platform? Jesus Christ, I don't know. Cylinder? Is that what they're called? I don't know. I haven't done math in like God knows how long. See, I completely disregarded the fact that I had a wisp and I just decided to complete- <gasps> No, 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 <laughs> no, I just completely disregarded the fact that I had a wisp and just took that hardest route possible. See, the thing with me and, and, and Lost World, I was pretty much on autopilot the entire time because the time I played it was literally just for the challenge. How fast can you touch Eggman? <laughs> so here's an update from the Wii U. It, it's still burning. All right, now we're in the home stretch and we start out with Sonic Mania. You see, Sonic Mania is what some may consider the eighth wonder of the world. To me, I, I don't know, I never played it. But from the times that I have, oh, hello, a, a very nice waterfall that um, I would probably consider water if this was the first episode of the- <laughs> What? what? <laughs> that was a jump scare. Gee whiz, look at all these waterfalls over here. I love these so much. Too bad I can't touch them, apparently. Now this level over here has some serious water and th 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 this actually has touchable water according to y'all. See, that's the water I'm referring to right there. They have the little swimming pools and stuff. They got the ocean over here. Now, we gotta avoid that ocean. Question being, where is that ocean? Me the answer, I have no idea. I don't know. I that's gonna be a surprise for me. I should probably- Oh, no! Don't touch it! I don't know about this game. I'm probably just gonna touch it in the super like I did last time. Okay, here's the level. But, um, I, I get what I said at the beginning where I know that the, the sewer has water, but I think there's a way to actually- like, you have to- it's, it's like a shortcut, I think. I, I don't know. I, I haven't played Sonic Forces in so long, so I'm not entirely sure. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is the shortcut right here. And we, we fell. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm assuming that there's another way up. No? Oh, we go straight into the- God damn it! I think the worst part is that I literally could have gone back, but instead we, we're gonna get stuck in the- Oh, wait. Oh, hold on! We did it! Oh, okay. The wrong sewer, I guess. Okay, I think this is the right sewer, so we jump over here and then- Oh, no. Oh, you have got- <laughs> I just- <laughs> Can I jump over it? It's a it's a loop. Oh my god! Don't touch it. And now we've reached the last game, Sonic Frontiers. What a journey it's been avoiding touching water in every Sonic game. Um, the closest we we got to it was Shadow of the Hedgehog, but I, I'm stupid. Honestly, I feel like Shadow of the Hedgehog was the only game that you could actually do it on. But hey, you know what? It, it's okay because I, stupid. I, gosh. And after this cutscene, since it's raining in Sonic Frontiers, in the first cutscene. The video will end because we have officially touched- Why is this cutscene so long? Am I trip- What the hell? I thought I was playing Sonic 06. What the- <laughs> Don't touch it.